So you guys get to see the lovely blankets on our couch behind me today because we have to cover up our couches at night because the cats claw at our couch. This is like the first adult thing that we've ever gotten. Like we we got this couch, we're paying for it, and then the cats start scratching at it and no, this is why we can't have nice things. So we basically cover up our couch like old people. It's great. We almost need plastic. Anyways, I'm going to do a new makeup tutorial since I I deleted all the other ones. Uh, so now I just basically have to record new footage. So this is great. <laughs> Okie dokes, I'm gonna start out with my Silk Pore and Wrinkle Minimizer. This stuff is amazing. I just started using it and I love it. And I'm not gonna be doing too much today because I'm just going over to my mom's house. Talon, my fiance, is sick, and I feel that I too am getting sick now. He's got like the nasal thing, nasal congestion. You know, the good type of thing. <laughs> so when you're applying silk, you wanna go in a downward motion so that it gets all into your pores. And I think I mentioned this on one of the videos that I deleted, is that people use the Silk Pore and Wrinkle Minimizer as a primer. And I need to be using this every day because I actually have huge pores on the sides of my nose. And I would like to see if it actually reduces those. I'm sure it does, I've heard it does. So apply that, let it set for a minute. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my color correcting tinted moisturizer. This stuff also amazing. I am trying to embrace the fact that I'm no longer tan from summer and I've had to switch to light instead of medium. Kinda sucks. I need to go tan. I need a tanning membership somewhere. Is that what they're called? A membership or tanning package? I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, this stuff is actually amazing. I put this stuff on whenever I'm going to the store. It's perfect for if you're going to the gym. My cat is eyeballing my light right now. I think she wants to attack it. This stuff actually corrects all the redness in your face. So it's perfect if you're going out in public and you don't want to look homeless or like, I don't know. I always joke around because I'm like, I swear I don't do math. I swear I'm not homeless. But basically it just makes you look like a functioning part of society. So even if you wanted to just use the color correcting tinted moisturizer, it's perfect. I love it. Brings you to life. And I need that today because I've been up since 4 a.m. And I am not going to do our foundation today because I just want a really light coverage. This stuff is super light. It's perfect for people who have like freckles and they like their freckles and they don't want them to go away because it is super light and it's just, it's amazing. I love it. If you guys ever see me doing this, I'm not picking my nose, I swear. I'm just fixing my nose ring. But yeah, it's super lightweight. If you want more of a full coverage, you can get our full coverage foundation. The foundation that we have is buildable so you can just put more on if you feel like you need more of a coverage. But for today, I'm just gonna do the, just the color correcting tinted moisturizer. Then. I'm gonna go in with my candlelight. I use candlelight for concealer. If you are pink based undertone, you would use candlelight. If you are yellow based undertone, then you would use sandstone pearl for concealer. We do have some amazing concealers. If you would prefer not to use a shadow sense, and I've heard that they're awesome. They actually just came out with a new formula and I've seen people using it to cover up their tattoos and stuff. It looks amazing. I can't wait to try it, but until then I use just the, I just use this candlelight shadow sense. And you can see the difference in my eyeballs. This side has shadow sense on it and this side does not. And I have all of this acne on the left side of my face, which I'm gonna use the candlelight to cover up as well. When you are applying anything to your eye area, 
Always make sure to use your ring finger because that is the lightest touching finger, I guess. It's just what I've heard. And I just bring it up to the side of my nose just because I have a little bit more redness on the sides of my nose that I just want to have covered up. I'm feeling super defeated right now after accidentally deleting everything off of my camera. So I'm sorry that I'm not super spunky today, but I'm actually really pissed off at myself. <laughs> Okay, so today I'm going to do just kind of a light, lighter eye. Something simple, something a little bit natural. I'm gonna do sandstone pearl shimmer all over my lid. This is very, very pretty. I used to be super scared of our shimmers because when I think shimmer, I kind of think like 90s glitter, but these are not at all like that. And this stuff is actually so pretty. I know that people have used it for highlighter as well, like under their cheeks. I haven't been that brave yet. I haven't actually done a full face of makeup in a while. I might end up doing it as a highlighter for New Year's Eve, but I'm not quite sure yet. So I just take it out of the tube and then I scrape some of the excess off of the end. And then I'm just gonna apply this directly to my eyelid all over. And then I'm taking my Eco Tools brush. This is a double-sided brush and this side says shade. It's just kind of a bigger fluffy brush. I am so not a professional, so I don't know the name, the names of any, like the technical names. Hopefully I will get better at it with time because I fully plan to have a bigger collection of brushes to play with. Because I've actually heard that brushes can make a world of a difference and I can't wait to have more makeup brushes to play with. There's one eye. I always feel like I make the funniest faces when I'm doing my makeup. Sometimes I rewatch these or when I'm editing them, I'm like, what the hell face is that even? Okay, so that is sandstone pearl shimmer. Now I'm going to go in to my crease with Mulberry and my blending Eco Tools brush. Again, it's another double sided brush, and this is just kind of like a. I don't fucking know. Like blending. <laughs> it's a blending brush. And I'm going in with Mulberry. It's just a super light purple color, and it's really, really pretty. And what I do to save product is I actually just pull this out and then I take it right off of the wand on here. I'm going into my entire crease. I have hooded eyes, so I actually like to take it up just a little bit further than my crease to make my eyes appear not as hooded. I've actually heard that you can get surgery to remove part of your lid, I guess, to make it like a normal eye, but I feel like it would just make my whole face look so weird if I got it removed. I don't know. If that's your thing, go for it. But I do know that like as women get older and your eyes get more saggy, I guess, and like wrinkly, there's older women who have done it to just kind of like give their eyes a little bit of a lift. So I guess I can't say that I would never do that. Maybe when I'm older, if my eyes get super saggy, then I'll do it. I don't know. <laughs> But if you have hooded eyes like I do, always make sure to bring it up just a little bit further because when you open up your eyes, it makes it appear like your eyes bigger, I guess. Again, something else that I learned in a tutorial and it just felt right. I did it and it worked. And I believe my fiance's sister actually told me about it. And then I looked further into it. She was in town visiting one time and says, oh, you've got hooded eyes. You need to go up further. I'm like, what? I didn't even know that there was a term for this, but apparently there is. Oh, 
All right, so that's mulberry. And then I'm just gonna go in with Copper Rose Shimmer to the outer corners. Copper Rose Shimmer is another one of our shimmers and it's beautiful. I love it. So I'm gonna take Copper Rose Shimmer. Again, I'm just gonna take it right off of the wand and I'm just gonna do this on the outer corner of my eye and dab it in with the same blending brush. Instead of blending it right away, I'm just patting it in and then I'm gonna start blending it inward because you want most of that pigment to be on the outer corner of your eyeball. Okay, now I'm going to take my Define Eco Tools brush, it's just like a little slanty brush, and then I'm going to take my Onyx Shadow Sense, which is just do, 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 which is just black, and I love using this for eyeliner, and today I'm just going to use this to tight line my upper lash line. That always freaks out my fiance, it's so funny. And I don't know how some women are able to do it without holding their lid open, and I just don't know how it's even possible. I can't do it, I've tried, and I'm like, the whole time. And I don't have a lot of onyx left. We used a ton of it for Halloween this year, so I just am able to take it straight off of the little spongy applicator at the end of it. that's it. Tight lining your waterline makes your eyes appear a bit bigger too. Now I'm gonna do my lashes. And for my eyelashes I always use the Lash Sense with Under Sense. One side has the Under Sense on it and the other side has the mascara. And I've heard a lot of people call the Undersense, they're kind of calling it like a primer. Basically what it does is it lengthens and thickens your eyelashes and helps it give a good face, I guess. Whatever its job is, it does a great job. It has one job and it does a great job at that job. Say job again, job. Oh, I just stabbed myself in the eyeball. That is the worst. Ever. Now it's gonna feel like I have something in my eye for the rest of the day. One eye. 
there are two things that I get super OCD about when I'm doing my makeup. My eyelashes and my eyebrows. <laughs> and I need to get an eyelash, I've been meaning to get like an eyelash comb because my eyelashes really like to stick together and I've just been using this teasing comb, like the side that has the pokey things. What I've been doing. Okay, now I'm gonna do my blush. And to do my blush, I'm just gonna use this EcoTools retractable face brush. And it's exactly what it is. It retracts into itself and it's pretty cool. And I'm just gonna use my Toasted Rose blush scents today. That's not what I want. Da, da, da. And all I do is I just squeeze a little bit out of the top like that. And I take it onto my brush, just a little tiny dot because a little bit goes a very long way with this stuff. And I dab it onto my cheek. And I always smile because you want it to go on the apple of your cheek. And then I work up the side of my face where the sun would naturally hit. Blend, 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 blend. And then I go down the side of my face. So think of it like the number three. And then I just take whatever is extra on my brush and I go on my nose and on my chin. Again, the places that the sun would naturally hit. Now I'm going to take my angled brush, my Define angled brush from Eco Tools again, and I'm gonna take Mocha Java to my eyebrows. This tube's almost empty, so I just take it straight off of the applicator. This is Mocha Java. I've been wanting to try Garnet because it's a little darker and my hair is naturally really dark, but I've been a little bit too scared to try it because it is really dark. There are people that use that black onyx on their eyebrows and I don't know how they do it. It's super intimidating to me. So one day I'll get brave and I'll try the Garnet, the darker brown on my brows, but for now I'm gonna stick with what's safe. And I'm actually gonna open up my new tube of Mocha Java because this one is basically gone. Maybe, if I can get it open. All right. Fuck! <laughs> God damn it. Listen. This is how my day is going so far. This is my day. Uh. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? Still. Still nothing. So they have these little stickers on them that say, sealed for your protection. Well, we're extra sealed right now. Extra sealed, can't get it open. <laughs> Fuck this, fuck that. I don't have the time for that. I'm really pissed off at it now. So we're just gonna go back to using this old one. That's how this is gonna go. Now I'm all shaky. Breathing heavy. I gotta pee. This better not be setting the tone for the rest of my day. Moose. My cat just knocked down my light. I knew that was gonna happen. Because cats, and this is why we can't have nice things. Okay, now that we've got the light set back up, let's finish our eyebrows and see if we can move on with this fucking day. Good enough. <sighs> so now I'm gonna do my bottom lashes. We're almost there, we've almost made it through this. <laughs> Moose, leave the light alone. Moose. Okie doke. So now that I have my bottom lashes done, I'm going to take our natural translucent powder. It comes in this really neat little dispensing brush. I love it. I take this everywhere with me. Focus. Please focus. Please focus. Focus. Not gonna focus. Cool. Cool. Not gonna focus. Thank you so much, camera. Really appreciate you having my back today. 
It comes in this dispensing brush, and it's awesome because I can pack it in my purse and carry it around with me and touch up my oil or whatever. My face gets shiny throughout the day, and all I do is I just tap it on my hand to work some of the powder down into the brush, pop it open, and brush it all over my face. animal hair in my mouth. I'm pretty sure I've got an animal hair in my left eye. Can you tell I'm over it? I'm so over it right now. Literally, this is not gone the way that I want it to. So that's on my face. My lips are clean and they're dry. I cleaned them with oops remover already and a warm wet rag. Dried them off. I'm gonna do praline rose today. It's been a minute since I've done this color and I think that it'll be pretty with the shadow that I've got going on. Oh, that was exhausting. I am done. This is all I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna go do my hair. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with my hair. I'll probably just dry it and straighten it and throw on a fucking beanie. This has been just as much of a shit show as I anticipated it to be because that's just how this day is going. And I deleted the other two videos off of my camera on accident, but those were just as big of a shit show as this one was. So you're not missing much, even though I am still really butthurt about it. I'm gonna go get dressed. I'm gonna go do my hair and I'm gonna go do laundry at my mom's house because our washing machine broke and I can't just do it here and work. So instead I have to go over to my mom's house who doesn't have Wi-Fi. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Please don't forget to leave comments below and tell me what you think. And don't forget to share my video. <laughs> if for whatever reason you feel like sharing my video, you can share it or don't, doesn't matter because this was a shit show and I'm not sure that everybody will love to see the shit show that I am all the time. But don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to follow all of the shit that I've got in the comments for you to follow. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys being here. <laughs> Bye!